Thank you for joining me today. This is Rivka with Treasures of Glory. This is prayer team episode number six. This episode is titled DID, Dissociative Identity Disorder, why we need to know about this. We're going to talk about what DID is, who DID affects, and why we need to know about this and the implications it has on us individually, us as members of the royal priesthood, and how this affects our nation and world. DID used to be called Multiple Personality Disorder, or MPD. This all ties into what we've been talking about since Episode 1, Satanic Ritual Abuse, why we need to know about this. With the overarching theme, it's about the children. It's going to tie into the atrocities being exposed with the CHILD and HUMAN trafficking and the PEDO, PHILIA, and other aspects that are being exposed the indictments, and the justice that is coming for those who have undergone the abuse from these wicked acts perpetrated against them. If you have little ones around, please administer caution of them from hearing this episode as it might contain some sensitive topics. Disclaimer, nothing that is said in this video or on Treasures of Glory website or in any Treasured Wellness 365 consultation is meant to diagnose, treat, prevent, or cure any disease. Anything said in this video, on the website, or in any consultation is not to be taken as medical or mental advice. Always seek the advice of a medical or mental professional for any health or mental questions or concerns you may have. Do not stop taking any prescriptions without consulting your physician and never take what is said here over the advice of a medical or mental professional. It is written in 2 Chronicles 714, If my people, which are called by my name, shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then will I hear from heaven and forgive their sin and hear their land. Let's start with a word of prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, we come before you in the mighty name of Yeshua, Hamashiach, Jesus Christ. We praise you and give you glory. I speak the blood of Yeshua, Jesus, over our households, bank accounts, businesses, ministries, and everything under our stewardship in the name of Yeshua, Jesus. We plead the blood of Yeshua Jesus over President Trump, his family, and all those who are appointed to govern alongside of him. We pray and we put on the full armor of God, which is the belt of truth, breastplate of righteousness, feet fitted with the preparation of the gospel of peace, the shield of faith that extinguishes the flaming darts of the wicked one, taking up the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God, praying with all prayer and supplication in the spirit, taking up the garments of vengeance and the cloak of zeal, having the Lord as our shield and the glory of the Lord as our rear guard. We pray that every curse, hex, vex, spell, incantation, form of witchcraft, voodoo, dark art, or other form of weaponized demonic activity are reversed and sent against the heads of the sender sevenfold that they would know that Yeshua Jesus is Lord. We declare that every human spirit, hybrid spirit, demonic spirit, synthetic spirit, or spirit child on assignment to create distraction, confusion, or the triggering of bombs, booby traps, tripwires, or other types of programming are now discovered and bound in chains and fetters of iron and put to wherever the true Lord Jesus sends them. We thank you that there is martial law instituted upon all parts of the humanity of those listening, attempting to go out of body and engage in astral traffic and trade that is ungodly and unauthorized. We thank you, Holy Spirit of truth, to guide us into all truth. We call this time blessed and fruitful in the mighty name of Yeshua Jesus. Amen. If you'd like to receive emails about our prayer team, the sign-up link is in the description box below. That way you can get notifications. Also, I just uploaded the videos on a bit shoot as a backup channel. What is Dissociative Identity Disorder, or DID? So this is going to be a brief overview, and more will be coming in part two. This ended up being too much information for one video, so I'm splitting it into two. Also, there's going to be more information on mind control. When it comes to DID from SRA or satanic ritual abuse, um, CHILD or HUMAN trafficking, it, there's a lot of the DID is also involved with mind control and the programming. And so we'll talk about that more later. But this is more just trying to talk about what DID is. So DID occurs when a traumatic event happens in order to just for a person to dissociate from the pain and trauma. And this is a very creative way of handling trauma. This is normal. There is nothing wrong or abnormal about a person's mind splitting because of having pain and trauma. DID, when this happens with the split, the the part that is formed or the altar, it is not a demon. 
This is to help protect a person from the amount of pain and the trauma that goes on during an event. And also, there's a difference of DID between SRA survivors and survivors of other types of trauma, meaning if a survivor of SRA has DID, a survivor of trauma-based mind control, MK Ultra, that's going to look different than somebody who is traumatized because of an event that isn't dealing with programming. And so that's what I mean by there's a difference. The same thing happens with trauma. A person is traumatized. And if the trauma is enough that a person splits, and what, does, what happens is that part that splits off takes the pain or the memory and holds that um, in order for the presenting part to continue in mind control, that those parts are then programmed and put into structures in a person. So that's going to be more in the mind control, but I just wanted to let you know that there's a difference on it as far as how it's structured um, in a person. Also, with the um, purposes of splitting somebody in SRA, it's also, we talked about this in episode one, it's also to, to demonize a person. Like I said, the parts are not demonic. It's actually part of the person's mind, part of their soul. But what happens in some of these rituals or the mind control, um, in order to, they demonize that part of the person. And it's so that they can gain power um, for these rituals, the sacrifices, drinking of blood, etc. All of this is done in a way um, that is, all of these rituals that take place can cause dissociation. Um, also, these different rituals are used to open portals to other dimensions to bring in powerful entities and resources into this dimension. So that's just some of the darker side of what goes on with the SRA on this. Um, the DAD, when it's done in the form of SRA and the mind control, it's done to control a person. So each of the parts can be programmed to have different roles and assignments within the various programming systems placed in the survivor's mind. And they also do stuff um, and program things into the body as well. So these various parts or alters of the person's mind can be called upon to come to the surface and carry out either cult activities or other activities that the prisoner would not have any knowledge of. So the prisoner part is the one that does the day-to-day -day activities and is present and usually doesn't have any knowledge of the deeper programmed parts, especially in SRA or different types of mind control, because the whole thing is to keep it um, undercover is to keep it to where the presenter part does not know what is going on. So who is impacted by dissociative identity disorder, DID? So SRA survivors, survivors of government-sponsored mind control, survivors of CHILD and HUMAN trafficking and other traumas are who are impacted by this. Um, others who are impacted are the loved ones of those with DID. When DID is caused by trauma through SRA or other parts of intentional mind control, such as MKUltra, those who are chosen for this are highly intelligent and creative. It may not look like that from based on the presenting altar that is active. However, they need people with high IQs and those who are creative in order for this mind control to be successful in this dissociation. So many times the presenter may even have a hard time, for example, may have a hard time balancing a checkbook while the scientist part is hidden deep in the system that's at work doing things for the programmers. And I'm saying this to be able to help bring awareness to those of you who may not know about this or whose main understanding of DID MPD might come from various things like the movie Sybil. And it's not a really a very accurate explanation of how this works. In addition, I want to bring hope to those who may be on the journey of this and finding out about this in their lives, um, that anyone who has undergone um, SRA or, and or who has DID or have gone through any traumas that have resulted in this, um, I just want to give you hope and courage and you're not alone in this. There are many people who are dealing with this and no one who has this is crazy. So many people also um, with the SRA 
what happens with the the programming is it usually is hidden in a person and they don't necessarily know until about so, sometimes around the ages of 40 to 50 in the 40s and 50s start saying putting connecting the dots and putting things together so we're going to talk about why we need to know about DID in a moment so let's keep balanced in the midst of talking about these deep topics. We need to make sure that we're ministering to and caring for our spirit, soul, and body. It is written in 1 Thessalonians 5, 23 to 24. Now may the God of peace himself sanctify you completely, and may your whole spirit, soul, and body be preserved blameless at the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. He who calls you is faithful, who will also do it. So I offer resources on Treasures of Glory website for ministering to the human spirit, soul, and body. Here I've got some samples here of some of my spirit blessings. I have spirit to, bless, spirit to spirit blessings, part one, love, joy, and peace. That's part of the series on the fruit of the Holy Spirit of spiritual warfare. And there's also some exceeding joy blessings, part one. And those are four CDs with four different topics. This is good for ministering to various things, trauma, people who have survived abuse, and the reason it's exceeding joy blessings is to come in the opposite spirit of roots of the issues that are along with depression. Other resources I have on my website are for the soul. The Fruit of the Holy Spirit is Spiritual Warfare is a series on, that ministers to the soul, it kind of crosses spirit, soul, and body, depending upon what is needed in there. So I have written two books, Keeping Covenant with the Lord in the Seven Mountains of Culture. So book one is on covenant and religion, and that has to do with our role as the royal priesthood in the covenant or in the mountain of religion. It doesn't mean that all roads lead to God. I believe that just one, and that is through Jesus Christ, for he is the way, the truth, and life, and no one goes to the Father except through him. And so it's taking on the mountain of religious religion from the perspective of us as members of the royal priesthood, as well as um, covenant and family. So those are the first two books in the series. I want to continue working on those more. And those are on my website. They're also available at Amazon. And the Kindle version for uh, the short time right now, I have them on Kindle at Amazon for 99 cents each. In addition, I have resources on my website for the body. I have Treasured Wellness 365 consultations, and this is um, doing quantum muscle testing, and this helps to the body to heal itself by releasing toxins and pathogens, as well as addressing some of the other issues that come in into the body that through various injections or various other things that have to do with um, some of them through technology, um, some of that can be done with the quantum work, and some of that can also be taken care of through prayer. So if you're interested in that, you can check the scheduler link below. I also have a video that talks more on that, as well as a video on my testimony for how this work has um, helped me. So thank you for supporting this prayer team through prayer and financial contributions. The link for the contributions is in the description box below. You can support me in the work I'm doing by purchasing for my Shackley website, and that link is in the description box below as well. Why do we need to know about DID? Well, we need to know about DID because of the implications it has on us individually and as members of the royal priesthood, and this also affects our nation and our world. The fact is, due to programming of the media and TV shows, Disney, etc., we're all impacted at some level with programming, even though not everyone on this level of programming, even though not everyone has this level of programming in DID, because there's so much of what's going on, but everyone is impacted by it either directly or indirectly. The more that we start seeing, we're going to see how maybe more we're going to be impacted with this because of what's coming out in our nation. So we need to know about the DID for several reasons. First, we need to be able to be aware of this so that we don't have a stigma with this when we encounter it. So the reality is these children and the adults that are being rescued from the trafficking are, there's quite a few in numbers here. And this is something that we must be able to know about as members of the royal priesthood if we're able if we're going to be able to offer a safe place for them while they're in the transition 
of coming out of this trauma. This healing can take years, and we need to be able to have an understanding of this because it's a long journey. And also, the only way that people can be set free from this trauma and the mind control is through covenant relationship with Yeshua HaMashiach, Jesus Christ. There is no other way to get set free from the bondage that has been instilled in them. And I'm going, I want to be, in the future, be talking about the covenant of life and peace because getting out of this is literally a matter of life and death. And so I want to be able to give you some information on the covenant of life and peace, life and shalom, and how that works in um, being able to walk this up. Second, many of these people who have DID have been abused by leaders in the community, including many in churches. We see this already being brought out, and I guarantee that what we're seeing being exposed in community leaders and leaders in the churches is just the beginning. Many people are going to have a hard time with regular church, as many of us know it today. And the reason for that is because if they were abused in the church, by church leaders, church is going to be a very traumatic place for them to be. And so we're going to have to do some other ways of providing community, providing support, providing a way of being around believers who love them, support them, and not be in a place where it um, causes more trauma. In addition, many people who have not been abused by those in the church are going to also have a hard time seeing what will be exposed. So this is just going to be really hard all the way around. So the more that we can know and understand about this right now, we can also help support people who are just going to be just, this is going to just be absolutely mind-blowing for a lot of people. And there's going to be a lot of hurt. There's going to be a lot of um, different things that people are going to have to work through. Because um, it's just going to be a huge level of betrayal of finding out that so many people that um, have been respected in the community and in the churches to find that this has happened. We want to be able to be able to know how to um, stand strong and support and encourage and be able to help walk people through that as well. Third, we also need to be aware of DID. Because as the Satanists are being taken down and being exposed, the work that is being done to keep people programmed will start to break down. So this brings up the likelihood that the programming starts to break down. And when that happens, because of the programming, many SRA survivors don't know that they're survivors. And so right now I'm talking about adults. There are people who are survivors of the SRA that are don't know it, and if the programmers and their handlers and all of this, the satanic power and the rituals start to go down, their memories might start to be recovered. A lot of these survivors may know that something just isn't quite right in their life, but may, may not know what. So this means that it's highly probable that many adults will start to begin to recover their memories, um, begin to be able to see what's been going on in their lives. So we need to be aware of this. We must be aware of it. And we must be ready, as ready as we can be, to support them. And so it may even be that some of my listeners may begin to see that this is what has happened in their life. And so I just want to encourage you to um, seek help. Um, there are different ministries out there that are available, a lot more that are coming about now. Um, I've got resources on my website as well as the Treasured Wellness 365 consultations. Um, but we must be in a place to facilitate healing, either through learning about how to minister to survivors, how to be understanding and to be able to journey alongside survivors, how to encourage those who are going to be quite shaken when they see what's been going on in society and churches on a large scale. Also, how many of these children that are being rescued right now, so we have people who are adults that might be starting to realize and see this on a greater scale. And we also have the children that are being rescued. And these children right now, how many of these children are going to need homes? Um, and even if they go back, some of them might know how their families, their families are going to need to have support through this too. So whatever this is, there's just so many different things that we can be aware of and be able to bring support. And if these children do need homes, with that, um, they're going to need loving families who are going to be able to be strong and knowing how to deal with spiritual warfare, 
that will need to be undergone in order to wage war on their behalf to bring them into freedom. Like I mentioned before, this is a matter of life and death because of how the different rituals and the different covenants and things that have um, been brought about to um, to do this. And even this is going on with a lot of the, um, even with the, the CHILD and HUNAN trafficking as well. So as members of the royal priesthood, this aspect of SRA, DID, CHILD, HUMAN trafficking affects everyone, either directly or indirectly. So I encourage you to seek the Father and ask him, what is it that he's calling you to do with this? For some, it may be that you'll find that you'll need restoration. It will be a time of healing for you if you start to notice some of these things that are coming and being um, made known in your life. For some of you, it's going to be prayer. For some of you, it may be to find ways to be trained to minister to people who are survivors of this SRA, this H-U-M-A-N, um, and C-J-L-D trafficking. Um, also, for some, you may get involved in other ways. For some of you, you may find yourself being a support and encouragement to those who are directly involved. For some of you, you may know of somebody who would be interested in watching this video or learning more. So if you know of anybody who would be interested in this topic, please share this with them. Whatever it is that the Lord is calling you to, he will be faithful to show you what that is. Dear Heavenly Father, we come before you in the mighty name of Yeshua HaMashiach, Jesus Christ. We praise you and thank you that you are Almighty and the Lord of the armies of angels. We thank you for being able to live in covenant with you through the death and resurrection of Jesus Yeshua. Thank you that we have access to all the provisions of this covenant. We thank you that the blood of Jesus atones for all our sins, rebellion, and iniquity. Father, we ask that you would give us eyes to see and ears to hear what you would want us to know about SRA, DID, CHILD, HUMAN trafficking. Please teach us how to be strategic in spiritual warfare. Expand our hearts, please, to love even greater and deeper. Please open our minds to the truth in Yeshua HaMashiach, Jesus Christ, that sets us free in these areas, that brings freedom to others. I pray for your angels to protect and minister to those in our nation and around the world that are currently in bondage to these atrocities and those who are being set free and those who are in the process of healing and restoration and those who will become aware of this. May you please strengthen them with your hope. Please bring people into their lives that are safe, good, loving, and able to walk alongside them in this journey. We pray for justice, restoration, and restitution for the injustice against your children, Father. Please protect those who are waging war for justice, whether it is President Trump, Attorney General William Barr, the federal agents that are finding these children, the military, and all others involved. Please send your angels to assist them in their duties. It is written in 2 Timothy 1.7, For God has not given us a spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. We ask for ourselves, our nation, and our world that we would be empowered by your spirit of peace, spirit of love, spirit of truth, spirit of power, and a spirit of a sound mind. Please fill us with the power of your Holy Spirit. Please wash us with the water from the river of life that comes from your throne. We pray that your will be done will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Please guide us into all light that we might be about your work here on earth. Please arm us with strength to live out the fullness of who you created us to be in you. We thank you that in you we are more than conquerors. Thank you for the victory. We pray this in the name of Yeshua HaMashiach, in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Please click the subscribe button below. Click on the bell if you would like notifications for future videos that are released. Please click the link below to sign up to receive our weekly prayer letters and other information about the prayer team. Also click here for links to view other prayer team videos, Satanic Ritual Abuse, Why You Need to Know About It, The Kingdom of Heaven, Shalom Peace versus The Kingdom of Darkness, Raw Evil Anarchy, and Portland's Recipe for Anarchy. Those are going to be in the playlist as well as the link to the Treasured Wellness 365 consultations and the testimonial that I have on that. Thank you so much for joining me today. Shalom. Shalom.